Griffin! Experiment. You tried the experiment on yourself? What the hell would make you do that? I'll finish. Wait, hold on, hold on. Easy, easy. Okay, hold on. Bracelet. What are you talking about? This belonged to my son. How do you have it? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, you're hurting me. I don't know. I got it from a friend. Who? I don't remember. Who's your friend? Did it ever occur to you that there might be more than one of these in the world? Sorry.
Sidney Shipley, I suppose. You can call me Faith. I can't believe how beautiful it is in here. Are you an actor? No, why? Your lab is in a theater. Oh, right. When the university eliminated its theater program, I couldn't stand the thought of it being abandoned. Plus, it's quiet here. It allows me to work undisturbed. I'm just gonna put this out there. I know that I was assigned to you, that you don't know me. You're probably concerned about my motives, I get that. But I would like to see if we can put that behind us. Just be two scientists who need to work together. It's just that I heard you didn't want me here. Oh, it's not that. Well, it's exactly that. But it's not about you personally, because I don't know you personally. I'm not exactly sure that I want to know you. You might be quite charming, but I do know that I've always worked best alone. Tristan mentioned that. Tristan? I take it the two of you are familiar. You could say that. It, it's complicated, but that's not why he sent me. Okay, I believe I will be an asset to you. Is this the part where you recite your resume to me? I could. That won't be necessary. I already looked you up. Faith Anne Shipley. Theoretical physicist, PhD from Eldritch University, a fellow at Oxford with a focus on absorption. Not married, although I haven't determined why. No children. How am I doing? Concise, but accurate. Now, you forgot to mention that my father is dead. My mother is remarried to someone whom I do not approve of and lives in Reading. I love art. Impressionism, to be exact, which is a bit strange for a scientist, and I would love to win the Nobel Peace Prize, despite the fact that I think awards are pretentious. Anything else? Mm, no, I wouldn't want to overwhelm you on our first day. Well, nice to meet you, Faith. Likewise. So, what are you working on? What do you know about optical density? Well, the optical density of a substance is the logarithmic ratio of transmitted light to the intensity of the incident light passing through a substance. Exactly. I have discovered a general principle on pigmentations and refraction. A geometrical expression involving four dimensions. A method that will make it possible without changing any property of matter except color in some instances to lower the refractive index of a substance to that of liquid or air. Anything transparent becomes practically invisible if put into any media of the same refractive index. For instance, if I put this piece of glass into water, it vanishes almost completely from sight. Because light passing from water to glass is only slightly affected in any way. It's almost as invisible as a jet of gas in air for the same reason. If I was to smash this piece of glass and beat it into a powder, it will become more visible while it's in the air. The refraction of the powder multiplies the surfaces of light on the glass. But if you put the bits of glass back in the water, it vanishes again. Invisibility. Yes. I've devised a method, a formula, if you will, that can render almost anything invisible. Mm. Let me show you. Stay still. Did, did you just... What do you think? About what? Your hair. Go on. Take it. It's invisible. Don't take my word for it. Really examine it.
possible? Wait, does, does, it, does this process work on everything? Nearly. It works on cotton fiber, wood fiber, bone. Imagine that, bone. Flesh, hair, nails, and nerves. <laughs> the entire fabric of man. And you did this by yourself? Yes. I am on the verge of the greatest scientific event in the history of man. Oh my God, unbelievable. Okay, and, and have you told anyone? No. What are you doing? I'm taking notes. No, no, no notes. No. Hey, why, why not? I need the sample. No, uh, okay, well that's mine. If we are to work together, this must remain amongst ourselves. Yeah, if. Now, I know you don't know me, but I'm not a huge fan of deception. There you are. <laughs> Anything interesting? Just noticing that we don't really know who anyone really is, do we? When they walk by, the faceless strangers. They're all a mystery. What? Sometimes wonder if there is a way that we can really see each other. Beyond the facades that we all have. I see you. Do you? Why are you here, Faith? I'm sure it had nothing to do with sharing a sandwich. <laughs> it's tuna fish, by the way. Would you like some? I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> <clears throat> So I would like to start over. I take it he didn't believe you. <laughs> no. I'm glad he didn't. Are you mad at me? I should be. I am sorry. At the very least, you could have brought something for us to drink, make it a proper apology. Or cookies. I like cookies. Are you being nice to me? When you came in yesterday, I was like a schoolboy who wanted to share his work with someone. I don't think working alone has been good for me. I must, however, make a request. The nature of this work opens us up to a great deal of possible ridicule. It's not my intention to be deceptive in any way. My ultimate goal is to have my work published, after all. I would just ask that you use your discretion. Keep our work with as little attention on it as possible until it's complete. That sounds reasonable. Do we have an understanding? Yes. Let's get to work then. Cordrazine. Yes. I believe it will help balance out the effects of the monocane. Okay. Well, let's try. Your names this time. Of course.
It's okay, Dixie. Morning. So I hope you don't mind. Uh, I stayed the night. You see, I, I was looking over your notes, and I think I found out what caused the reaction. Like I, it may be the amount of monocane hydrochloride we used. Now, I did some research, and depending on the quantity, it can cause death. Monocane. Monocane. You were talking in your sleep. Was I? What was I saying? Oh, um, you were talking about someone named Catherine? Thank you. She's my ex-wife. She haunts me from time to time. Did she die? No, she just haunts me. She's very much alive. Did you miss her? I have regrets, mostly. I think I miss the idea of her, the idea of a significant other. Relationships are difficult. <laughs> Experience or opinion? Education. Advanced degree. PhD. <laughs> <laughs> I'm intrigued. Unlucky in love? You could say that. We should start a club. <laughs> I could be a founding member. Although I must confess, on my part, I wasn't a very good husband. Mm, why is that? <laughs> Your work. Mm. I threw myself into it. Out. Would you believe she felt I committed too much time to it? <laughs> How could she have gotten mm. that idea? You? Cheating. I have a, a knack for selecting men who aren't loyal. <laughs> I have many faults, but cheating is not one of them. So you're a one-woman man? I am. Well, there must be hope for you, then. Is there hope for you? Oh, with Tristan. I'll never get used to calling him <laughs> that. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I continue to have trouble keeping his interest. You're still together? Yeah. Well, no. You know what, it's complicated. Um, but I'm, I'm trying to be optimistic. I'm not. I'm quite happy with my mini refrigerator, my frozen dinners, and my work. Keeps life simple, free from heartache. Mm. Besides, it's difficult to imagine myself with someone now. I'm a bit of an acquired taste, as I'm sure you can attest to. Odd. It's the word I would use. Oh, but in a good way, like, a, like an imported wine. Let's hope someone can appreciate my vintage. <laughs> I consider myself to be a bit of a disaster. Well, and here's to beautiful disasters. Let me see. Who is that? It's a former student of mine. Well, you want to go talk to him? No. Faith, wait up. You've been avoiding me. Uh, no, I, I've just been busy. Yeah, I want to see you. How about lunch? Maybe something better than lunch. <laughs> Tempting. I have a lot of work to do. Faith. Okay, what about Saturday? We could do breakfast. There's that nice place, Romano's, out by the bay. How are things going with Griffin? Good. 
That was vague. Uh, well, there's there's nothing new to report. And what about the uh, the invisibility? You gotta be kidding me. Come on, I'm I'm appealing to your charitable nature. You be patient. You just you have to let this play out. Hey, we have a lot invested in this. I know. <laughs> I will keep you updated. You look quite lovely tonight. What's the occasion? I thought we could celebrate. Celebrate? Mm -hmm. I know it's been a few weeks, but the experiment appears to be a success. Dixie is visible again. So I brought you something. A gift. It's cookies. <laughs> Men like cookies, or so I've been told. Thank you. But I'm not sure that we should be celebrating just yet. Why not? We haven't tested this on a human. A human? Of course. That's the ultimate goal, isn't it? Think of what could be accomplished if a man could become invisible. <laughs> What's that? Exact revenge. Mm. <laughs> Grim. Try again. Espionage? Illegal. Well, worst case, I could always work for the paparazzi. Show up with the most scandalous pictures of celebrities in compromising positions and the like. Mm. Yeah, I could see you now in Prison Orange. Do you find me attractive? I never thought about it. Mm. Like sometimes the way you look at me makes me think that you do. You are. Uh, I mean, I do. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm, I'm making you uncomfortable. I'm sorry. That was, that was not my intention. I just thought it would be nice to go out. It would. I do go out. It would be <laughs> okay. nice. Uh, allow me to get changed. Okay. Okay. Give me a moment. <laughs> Okay, we have your lunch. It's quinoa. You like quinoa? No. You don't? There's kale in there as well. Kale's good for you. You like kale? You're not a California. Turn around. <laughs> God, I believe you're going to middle school. You know what that means? What? Girls. Dating. <laughs> this is where it starts. Dad. It's where I met your mother. No, you didn't. It's true. Right, honey? We met in college. But I was watching her from middle school. Oh. I'm warning you, true love awaits. <laughs> you look like twins. You think so? I'm the better looking twin. Mm. Go get your jacket. But it's not cold. Go. 
Are you going to be okay? Yes. Well, that makes one of us. He's growing up so fast. Take it easy on the ladies. I'll try. <laughs> Don't drink and drive. Ah, like you. We'll get that oh. license back. No, you won't. <laughs> Don't do drugs. At least not all the drugs. Stop. All right, let's go. Know what you did. What are you talking what about? What is this? Some kind of trophy? This belongs to my son. I'm positive now. You're crazy! I'm not. You don't know anything. I'll tell the police. Tell them what about this? I've never seen that before.
King without me. How did your meeting go? Good. Did I interrupt something? An anniversary of sorts. Who is he? The boy, the... the one in the picture. Riley. My son. I... I didn't know you had any children. I don't. He's dead. Do you want to do you want to talk about it? I would prefer not to. Except to say that today is the anniversary of his death, which is always difficult. You have news? Uh, yes. Um, I was able to secure our financing. That's good. You know you can. Always talk to me if you need to. A challenge I'm attempting to overcome. Um, I bought some of your favorite things today. I thought it would make your work here more pleasant. I shouldn't have done that. It's um, okay. No, no, it's not. Tristan's planning on proposing. I'm, sp I'm supposed to be there right now. Congratulations, reporter. I'm happy for you. Are you? Griff Griffin, are you? Of course. So stupid. Stupid. You are so stupid. Well, this is a first. Never stood me up before. I know. I, I got tied up at work. Work? 
tonight of all nights. Yes. Hey, look, I've, I've been thinking about it, you know, about us, and uh, I feel like I'm being pressured. Pressured? I haven't even asked you yet. I know. Hey, look, you've been drinking tonight, okay? We shouldn't have this discussion no, right now. No, there's never a good time with you anymore. Okay, well, we've been making significant progress lately. You think so I care have... about that? Okay, shh, you, you are raising your voice. I yell if I want to! Okay, shh, Who cares? When have you become so desperate? Okay, it's not becoming. What happened? Right, we used to be able to talk. What? Talk to me. No, I... No, I just need to think. About what? Look, I care a great deal about you. But you're not in love. No. You're <laughs> Stop it. me! This is over. Griffin? Griffin? You do that! Off the finish. Okay, hold on, hold on. Easy, easy. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Okay. Oh. 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 Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Hold on. Easy, easy. Oh. 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 Come on. Ask you the same question. Okay, don't worry about me. Tell me what I can do to help you. What happened? I told him no. Okay? Hey, so, okay, how are you feeling, huh? <sighs> Did you feel any pain? Getting better. Okay. Oh, stomach's burning up. Hey, hey, hey just take, just take some deep breaths, okay? Oh. Okay. okay? Why, 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 why would you do this? Jealousy, I imagine. <laughs> Over me? How does every man I know I'm insane? Don't lump me in with him. Okay, why not? Okay, you could have killed yourself. What's this? Sedative. Easy, easy, easy. How am I doing? Better, I think. Your heart's slowing down. You know, oh. he's, he's not as bad as you think he is. Kristen, he meant well. Why did you say no? Well, you know women, they're <laughs> complex. <laughs> that you are. Huh. So are men, for the record. <laughs> Hold on, come on. Easy, sorry. <laughs> 
Don't calm down. It worked. I'm invisible. Griffin, oh, did you almost give me a heart attack? <sighs> Wait, where are you? Right here in front of you. Reach out. against the desk. <gasps> I tried to get used to not having visual cues of myself when I walk. Wait, 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 stop. I, I don't know where you are. That's the point, isn't it? Yes, but I would prefer knowing. Are you naked? Yes. <sighs> oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's something completely perverse about that. I, I feel like I'm in a room with a flasher or something. Could you put some clothes on, please? <laughs> okay, for some reason I thought clothing would help, but you are still quite disturbing. I've had some ideas of what I can do now that I'm invisible, but I'd like to know what your thoughts are on the matter. Uh... Okay, well, you certainly can't go out looking like this. People won't know what to make of you. I think it's more a matter of how I go out. Mm -hmm. Well, if you go out like this, people will think you're either you know, recovering from... <laughs> God knows what, or that you're some sort of criminal. I think you're forgetting the temptation to go out not wearing this. Mm, which I imagine is strong. Understated, to say the least. It's taken everything in me to not leave. The only thing I think that has prohibited me from doing so is the fact that I would need to be completely <laughs> naked. I've not embraced my inner nudist as of yet. The weather would make it difficult as well. Yeah. It's freezing out there. No. The only option, at least for now, is to stay and complete our studies. Discover the solution to reverse the process. Thank God. What? No, nothing. I just thought you were going to say you wanted to sneak into a woman's locker room or something. I've already scheduled myself to do that tomorrow at noon. Faith, I'm a scientist. I'm still a man. haven't absorbed the idea that you're invisible yet. How are you managing? Better. I'm not bumping into things as much. I think we should start cataloging the effects of the process. Okay. First, I find that my lucidity is better than it's been before. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if that has to do with the idea that I can no longer be superficially judged 
but that I'm now devoid of self-criticism. That I find myself to be freer than I've ever felt before. Okay, why do you think that is? I think that psychologically it's purified me, erasing the defects that I perceive myself to have. Oh, is that an actual effect or just a perception on your part? I'm not sure. <laughs> Sit down. What? Just because you feel normal doesn't mean that you are. So I am going to have a full workup done on you. I have a concern to raise. Okay, what's that? I don't want to be the cause of a rift between you and Tristan. How so? I'm concerned that in my present state, I will become dependent upon you. And you're afraid of coming in between us? Perhaps. Is it that or is it your desire to repress the feelings you've started to have for me? A bit of both. Tristan and I are over. He just, he just needs to accept that. And I am here for you for as long as you need me. Just look normal, act normal and see. No one notices a thing. Well, it's hard to act normal when you're steering me like that. So. Right then. Okay. <laughs> what exactly are we doing? Seeing how I can maneuver in public. Uh -huh. When there's a distraction, detecting me is more difficult. You are the distraction. Where are we going? To Tristan Hagen's office. Okay, wait, stop, stop. I do not want to see him. I'm not going to see him. And what are we doing? I need access to Tristan's office is a piece of information I need. His computer, more precisely. Okay. Are we going to break in? Nothing so insidious. We're going to walk through the front door. Mm. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Stop. Okay, we're going to get caught. He's not here. Well, this is a surprise. Oh, sorry. Deep breath. Turn around. <clears throat> oh. You haven't returned my phone calls. Well, that's because I didn't want to talk to you. You know, what does one say after they've been beaten? Well, as I recall, you managed quite well for yourself. My job was sore for a week. Was that your attempt at an apology? Look, if you've come to fight, I'll go. Okay, wait. Stop. I... I did want to talk to you. Um, so despite everything that's happened, I don't want to lose our friendship. How very gracious of you. Is that what we've become now? Friends? Look, in this case, I think it's better than the alternative. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. This is about Griffin, isn't it? You started to have feelings for him. Unbelievable. He, he is an odd one. Okay, I don't share that opinion. Well, it's not an opinion. It's a fact. What could you possibly find attractive about him? That's not a discussion I'm going to have with you. Why are you here? It's just occurred to me that you... You've come to see me. You're standing outside of my office, so what do you want? And please don't tell me it's because you wanted to save our friendship. It's about your job, isn't it? Is that how low you think of me? Well, if that's your concern, then you can rest assured that I have no intention of firing you. All right, contrary to popular belief, I'm not the Neanderthal you believe me to be. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry. I cannot believe you put me through that. Believe me, that was not my intention. That was as difficult for me as it was for you. Lord, I hardly believe that. Do you think it's easy to see how much he cares for you? But am I detecting jealousy? There may be a valid argument made for that. And mm -hmm. odd. What do you mean by that? You are odd. Am I? Yeah. Well, one might argue that walking around naked in the park during the day is considered odd. Touche. So did you, um, did you find what you needed? I believe so. And what exactly were you looking for? Information about the student who killed my son. Wait, a student? Yes. Are you certain? No, but I intend to find out. Okay, Griffin, I don't know if that's... Griffin?
And he left the jack, which is worth more than the tires. Oh, that's messed up. What do you guys think? Yeah, I like it's it. Good. It's yeah. clean. Hey, you guys want a beer? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, man. Sorry about your brother. Yeah, it's been tough. You know what, man? I'm an optimist. I'm sure he'll show up eventually. Yeah. Ooh, you live in a barn? Close the door. I did. I thought I did. Hey. Brought you your favorite. Tuna fish. Are you hungry? I got the results of my tests today. Well, and? I found out I have a progressive neurological disorder along the line of Huntington's disease. Okay, what, what does that mean? It means it will affect my motor skills, cause memory loss, dementia, and it will eventually destroy my mind. I was asked to come in for a further diagnosis, but my present condition will not allow me to do that. No. Spreading to rate that's abnormal. Okay, would, okay, would, would, would reversing the process stop it? I don't know. We have to try. But use the time that we have left to reverse it and change what's happening to you. You need to go. What? You need to leave. I'm doing this for you and for me. It won't be long before I lose my lucidity and I do not want you to be a part of that. No, I'm, I'm not leaving. I only have a few weeks. I need to work. No. Look, I'm in love with you. Look, I know the circumstances couldn't be worse, okay? But I'm not leaving the man that I love. That you love? Yes. We do realize that from now on, nothing will ever be the same. I need you to promise me something. It may be difficult to do so under the present circumstances. Promise me that you will fight. Griffin? I'm here. What are you doing? Thinking. I want to document my findings for the purposes of publishing them before I'm left with no time. It's my hope that you will see that the work is continued even after... Please I'm... don't. Don't say it. How are you feeling? I feel fine. However, I must admit that from time to time I feel a burning in my head. Like a thousand little pins as are firing off one at a time. It doesn't hurt exactly, but I can't stop it for hours once it begins. It makes it difficult to concentrate. But it doesn't change anything. Invisibility is quite beautiful. What's it like? You can't imagine it. It frees you from yourself. There is nothing but your thoughts. In a way, it's like being dead. <laughs> The problems that you have are not there because you are not there. Does that make sense? Yeah. I'm a ghost of myself. I look for me sometimes and imagine that I can see me for who I can be, not who I am. Hmm. It makes me appreciate what I see more. I never believed in God until I was invisible. Wait, why is that? I think science, by its nature, wants to define things in a very finite way. Because of this, we see everything as ordinary and common, things that are, in fact, miracles. Miracles? You're one of them. <laughs> I can see you in a way I've never seen anything before. Without distraction, without the concerns for how you view me. Your true self. <laughs> are you becoming a romantic now? Perhaps.
Me. Did you see anyone when you came in? No. I thought... Here. Uh, there are antibodies that may help prevent the, the beta amyloid, which is the cause of your deterioration from clumping the plaques in your brain. You know, I, I've been given a lot of thought to what might have happened to you, and it is my belief that the process also somehow affected your ability to fight off disease. And if I'm right, we need to help your body's natural ability to fight off infection, okay, which is what these are for. Thank you. What is it? I took your findings to Tristan. What did he say? He said he would review everything this week. And? And he wants to see you. Look, he's, he's not just going to take my word that you're invisible. Okay, but I will talk to him ahead of time. Let him know what to expect. Did you tell him about? Us? Yes, I told him everything. Including my condition? Yes. Was that a cause for him to celebrate? No, he... No, he did not rejoice at the possibility of your death. He's still harboring feelings for you. Go on. Well, what do you want me to say, okay? He's not happy about it. What should I say about us? Nothing. Okay, focus on the work. Leave us out of it. This thing for me. You killed my son! My beautiful son. Is this what he looked like? Right before you killed him? Laying there, helpless? Nothing to say. Oh.
never answered my call. I was avoiding you. Why? I'm not ready. For what? For this meeting. Can we reschedule? Hey, no, no, he's on his way. He's going to be here in just a minute. I don't understand. Okay. Look, look, we talked about this already, huh? I made a mess of things. I need to clean up. Oh, so stupid. I'm okay. Okay, you're not. It's the medication I take. A side effect. Okay. We, we can't wait any longer. We have to get you to the hospital. I don't want to go. Okay, that's because... Look, you're not, you're not thinking straight, okay? The medication helps, but it's not enough. You're right. Okay. I'll finish this meeting and then we will go. Okay. If you want to help me, I need to get ready. Look, you don't have to do this alone. I'm never alone. I have my work. I lose myself in it. You have to make sure he doesn't take okay. this away from me. Promise me. Okay, I, I will do the best I can. Oh. Hey, 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 it's okay. It's oh. okay. Come on. Oh. Oh. Come on. It's okay. Let's get you ready, okay? Will you go back to him? I want you to be happy. To have someone who is normal. I don't imagine I fit the bill anymore. Who says that I want normal? Hmm? Come on, you have created something that no one else on Earth has ever done. Being different is what makes me love you. Griffin. At least I think it's you. The clothes. They're for your own benefit. It's rather off-putting when I'm not visible. Would you like a cup of tea? I'm not here for refreshments. Ah. Verification. That's what you want, correct? Well, I would be lying if I said otherwise. Mind the hands. Is this sufficient? Yes. I mean, I, I was told what to expect. This, this is unbelievable. <laughs> Shaking. You nervous? No. Faith brought you my work. She did. You know, I don't know what she sees in you. Pity, I imagine. I was hoping we could discuss anything but her. Well, I would feel the same way if I were sleeping with your she fiance. She was never your fiance. Relax. She told me about your condition. Did you review my work? I did. However, your work does not define your intentions. What do you mean? It doesn't answer why. I want to know why you've pursued this. Does that matter? It does to me. I don't have an answer for you. Well. Look, I, I'm astonished at what you've been able to accomplish, but I cannot support the publication of your work. I don't understand. Well, let me explain. Your work is not complete. The formula is scattershot at best. You proceeded with human testing without permission, which is against the law. And although successful, replication has been inconsistent. Now, this is further complicated by the rapid deterioration of your health. This would be deadly to anyone who attempts to undertake it. You're jealous! I'm doing something people have only dreamed of, and you can't stand what it! What would you expect you under this... You need to story? leave. What, what I said leave! What? Just, just... He's crazy! 
crazy. What? Wait, wait and, what happened? And dangerous. He threw me out. Okay, what? He literally threw me out. You don't put your hands on another employee. Okay, wait, wait, Tristan. What? Wait. What? what are we going to do about this, all right? I allowed this study to take place. We're all in this okay. together. You need so to get this under let, control. Let me talk to him, What okay? is there to talk Okay, well, what set him off? The fact that I rejected his study. Yeah, I take that back. He's sick. Okay. That's what it is. He is. You want to hear the truth? He is. Okay, but you are not helping. I don't want help. I want him gone. Oh, do you have any idea what he's going through? I don't care. Do you? Are, are you defending him? Okay, well, if you, if you don't want to help, that's fine. But the last thing I need is for you to add to the problem. So what, what do you want me to do? Let me handle it. He needs to be under a doctor's supervision. I know. What if he hurts you? Well, then it's something the two of you will have in common. I... I don't even know who you are anymore. Okay, you know what, Tristan? Life, life isn't simple. Okay, you don't just get to walk away when things get hard. I need to help him. You know how hard it is to not just walk in there and rip off his head? Yes. This is wrong, Faith. You have 24 hours. I really messed things up, didn't I? Yes. What did I do? You don't remember? No. I think I was angry. Okay, come on, we, we don't have much time. We have to get you to a doctor. No. I remember now. Bits of what he said. He asked me why I chose, of all things, invisibility to study. It was because of my son. I saw him in my own face. I needed to find a way to not have to see him when I looked at myself. I couldn't bear it. And that's why I took the monocade. It wasn't a choice. I'm sorry. Did you miss me when I'm gone? Of course. Do you know what I would do? Mm. If this wasn't happening. What's that? Stop working. <laughs> I'm not really an outdoors type, but I can see myself in a house in the woods. I would sit, stare at the trees, mm -hmm. and never work again. It would be a paradise. And would I be there? Yes. You would be my wife. How? You'd have to ask first. Of course. I'm old fashioned that way. <laughs> Faith and Shipley. Will you marry me? I'd like that. <laughs> I could give you my heart, my blood, to heal you. What did you say? What? Blood. Blood. What if I had a transfusion of plasma? Infuse the antibodies in my system. Replace the deficiency that I have inside me, and then... Then... I mean, we could stop the process of deterioration that's happening to you. And? And it would flush out your system and make you... Visible. Come on. Come on. Okay. Let's go. My God. What happened? Did you do this? Me? Why would I? Well, why, why would you do this? You kissed him. What are you talking about? I saw you. I didn't kiss anyone. Are you in love with him? Who? Oh, Tristan, no, 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 you have to listen to me. Hey, oh, ah! Okay, Griffin, please stop, you don't, you don't understand, okay? You're sick, Griffin. Griffin, stop! <laughs>
You might not want to try to stand. How does your head feel? It hurts. Imagine it does. You hit me. It's not right, Faith. What? Tristan. Me. I don't know what you're playing now, but it needs to stop. What I don't understand is why you don't choose. You're not thinking straight. Oh, but I am. You know, studying primates, there is often conflict that exists between alpha males. That's what's happening here. Female. Female is forced to choose. No. No. It's males. They make the decision. They resolve the conflict amongst themselves to make the choice easier. What did you do? Griffin, what did you do? You decided to make the choice easier for you. Confront him face to face, so to speak. Remove him from our lives. What did you do? I used your phone. Texted him. I told him that you'd worked everything out, got me under control, and that you wanted him to come here. That you needed his help. I told him you loved him. Why? Why? Why would you do that? You do, right? No. You still love him. No. He's on his way now. Okay. What does that mean? Are you going to hurt him? Don't say that with disdain. You were the cause of all this. If you just chosen either of us definitively, none of this would be happening. Look at me. What happened to you? Are you hurt? Who did this to you? You don't remember? Hey. Hey, I need your help. Hey, I need you to take me to the hospital. Okay. It's gonna be okay. Who did this? Did Tristan do this to you? You need to go now. What's going on? <laughs> Answers. That's what we're here for. Are you hurt? This is your fault. Getting involved where you don't belong. What are you talking about? I saw you. I saw you. 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 You know what you did. You knew we were together. But that didn't stop you. This is what you wanted from the beginning. To reject my work. To take faith away from me. Well, it won't happen. You wanted to see what invisibility looked like. Well then look! Oh, leave him alone! You gonna defend him now? Oh. I asked you a question. Answer me. Screw you. Why would you do this to me? Okay, you need to stop, okay? You're not thinking straight. Things have never been clearer to me in my life. Stay out of this. You see what you did? Getting involved where you don't belong? Now I'm going to ask you again. Why? Answer me! You see what you make me do? I'm going to kill you. The choice of who lives or dies is not up to us. I believe that it is only fair to let Faith choose. It was the indecision on her part that created this situation. So, my love, what will it be? You need to make a choice. You want me to choose between you? Don't. He's going to kill me anyway. Is that true? Or will you let him go? If you choose me? Then, then you'll let him go. With the caveat that your words are true. You. What? I choose you. She's lying to you. What do you expect her to say? Don't, don't listen How to him. How could she love you? You're a freak. I love you. I love you. Just you, okay? Prove it. 
He has been the cause of every bad thing that has happened between us. He has taken what is perfect and cast it in doubt. Take it. Take it. You need to end this now. I can't, I can't, I can't. Once he's dead, we can put all this behind us and move on. This is the only way. Griffin, you can't be serious. Thanks, run! Griffin, stop. Stop. <laughs> out.
You hurt me, Faith. I was already pretty broken. You made your choice. about me right now, huh? I always worry about you. I love you. Okay, I, I have to find you help, okay? Hold on. No, no, no. Okay. Don't leave me. Okay, I won't. I won't, hey.